Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So let's start with Salpa, who've issued an update about their driver lineup. Now as we know, Nico Hulkenberg will join the team next year and will stay on for when Audi come into the sport in 2026. The team are yet to confirm who will be in the other seat, but there has been a lot of speculation that it will be Carlos Sainz, who will be leaving Ferrari at the end of this season. There are other drivers though, such as current Salba drivers Zhou Guan Yu and Valtteri Bottas, while Esteban Ocon could also be in the mix, with him leaving Alpine at the end of this year. And Salba team representative Alessandro Aluni Bravi confirmed that they are targeting the best available driver pairing. He was quoted by Planet F1 as saying, We say that we want to try to have the best pair of drivers available in the market. It's not just depending on our team, it's depending on of course on the availabilities, depending on many factors. We have seen that the market is quite fluid and each day we see in the press, you know, new names and new combinations. So I think the target is to have the very best drivers available for us for a long term project like the Audi F1 team project. Now I do think Sainz will end up in this seat. I mean his only realistic choices are them or Williams, with Mercedes now looking unlikely and Red Bull closing the door after announcing a contract extension for Sergio Perez. Now Sainz put himself in contention for the seat following a very strong start to the season, while Perez's performance have dropped off recently. But according to Sky Sports' Craig Slater, the Red Bull point of contact for Sainz changed from team advisor Helmut Marko to team boss Christian Horner, which Slater felt posed the question of whether this Sainz situation shows that Horner emerged as the winner. Speaking about the Sainz situation, Slater said, He had been holding out for this seat. My understanding from his representatives was it had been hot and cold, hot and cold over the last few months. Rebel seemed interested, then they were a bit more detached again. Interestingly, the point of contact Sainz's negotiators had with Rebel changed from Dr. Helmut Marko to Christian Horner himself. Now, is that a sign potentially that if there had been this internal power struggle at Rebel, that Christian Horner has clearly emerged as the winner here? Sergio Perez, amongst other things, has been staunchly loyal to Christian Horner through all these issues at the start of this year. I think it certainly is a Christian Horner choice, that is clear. Maybe if Dr. Marko had the casting vote here. Might someone else have been in that seat opposite Verstappen? Who knows? But continuity it is. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.